We started 26 years ago now, very proud, and we started in a little restaurant in Currajong, and hence our name, Currajong Kitchen. My husband's a chef, I ran front of a house, our background is hospitality, and so we were serving lavash flatbread on our platters for cheese platters in the restaurant. At the time, Australians were entertaining with Jack's crackers, and they aspired to the imported black box of a car's water cracker. So there was an opportunity in the market. We took a stand at Australian Fine Food Show, the biggest food show in Australia, spent three and a half thousand dollars, so a big investment at the time, yeah. A Coles uh, supermarket manager for a new concept store in Broadway came along and said, love your product, gave us a listing in Coles, and it is why the brand Courage on Kitchen exists in Australian pantries today. Our largest Australian biscuit manufacturer that we all know in, in this country and that we all lovingly eat their products, came out into a market and brought a product into the market that competed with us in 2004. And of course, as a large corporate and us as a family business, we thought, we are dead in the water, what do we do? We put a little note inside the packets and we said to our consumer, this is an, Austra uh, an Australian story, however, it's a David and Goliath battle. We never, of course, named anybody. We just needed them to get on board with us. And we out, in the end, they did, and we actually outsold that product, and we ended up staying on the shelf, and theirs didn't. And it's a, yes, you can do it. <laughs> There are young startups and businesses across the country, beyond across the country, who are looking for some reality checks and some understanding and to know that someone's been there and done that and there's a gem in my story that someone can grow, someone can inspire, they are the next generation of Australian business, they are the next generation of the Australian economy and that's what I hope to inspire.